Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Quant. So what do we see here? We see that the price bounced off the trend line and I think it uh, it looks like that at least we, are have to, we have to prepare for a bit of a deeper retracement uh, for Quant. Um, made you aware that so far we only had three waves up that we need to be extremely careful here with Quant and that I wouldn't do anything with Quant really until we have five waves to the upside. And then if we get the five waves up, I would buy the retracement. As you can clearly see, we don't have five waves up. We only have three waves up. So I'm going to pay a lot of attention to this at, um, going further. This could, of course, still be a fourth wave. yeah, But it has lost in reliability. And why is that? That's purely because um, at the moment, this wave three was not the ideal length. So there's a few problems here with this chart now. Um, which doesn't really convince me yet that the low is in, okay? It could be in here, and we've seen some nice price action, but the price needs to do much more, or the chart needs to do much more to convince me that a low here has been made and that we are already moving higher in the third wave. I already made you aware in the last video that I, um, or in the last videos anyway, that um, my view is that this year was a wave one to the upside, wave one all the way up to $200. $30 or something and that we're now coming down in wave two and that somewhere here we should now reverse so it could still go down lower yeah $81 is a very important support as well so until we really see strong evidence that a low is in we need to be careful because we are still in downtrend we still make overall lower lows and lower highs um, we haven't broken back above the trend line so we're still below that channel so we might, all we might do at the moment is just a retest again, right? Another retest, if that's not successful, we'll probably come down and roll over once more and come down to maybe $81, $82 to finish off or have, and, and then we have another chance to put a substantial low in. But um, that's the whole point of waiting for five waves up and then waiting for the retracement. At the moment, we only have three waves up. Doesn't really give a lot of confidence. And the other problem I have with this chart that within this structure like in the in the yellow wave one yeah so let's say in the yellow wave one of this structure we also only have three waves so i can't really count a clear impulse so yeah i'm uh, you know i'm i'm a bit um well i wouldn't say concerned but obviously i'm observing this but at the moment this is not entirely clear to me here if this is going to push higher once more um obviously we need to wait what the market is doing because you know we can only react to the market Maybe this is something like a descending wedge, but it's not very clear yet. What is important um, to mention as well, not only that we only have three waves, but if we draw the FIPS, the extensions, the target for that third wave, it should have reached $132, ideally for a third wave. Now it didn't do that, it fell short. Um, now that is not an absolute um, major problem, but taking the whole package together, it's just not in a very convincing structure here. Um, in addition to that, we can now look at key Fibonacci re re uh, retracements because in a way four, we should not drop below the 50% FIB level. So we get it close, so $115. If we go below this level, then I think for now, this move up is over and we are gonna head for new lows or at least for a retest of the um, $103 to $104 level low here. We'll see. Certainly, if we retrace more than $115, again, it would take away some more confidence of this chart. Not generally, it's still in, a, in an overall um, good pattern and, and let's say bullish pattern, but here short term, it would rather point for me to another low. So bottom line is, yes, you know, maybe the chart is reversing. It's at least trying. It's working on a possible breakout, but it hasn't done enough yet to convince me. So I'm not doing anything here at the moment until I have a clearer signal. So if I see a move up here, of course, you know, then um, that could be a signal we get the five waves, but then I would want to see the retracement in three waves, A, B, C. I wanna hold the support area and I will then buy the support area that I will talk to you about when we get to that point. But at the moment, you know, no reason to chase here a few green candles. At least I'm not doing that. You can of course do that if you long, if you like to. Uh, I can only share with you what I see in the chart and it's nothing that convinces me yet that a low is in. Okay, that's my update about Quant Q&T. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. 
And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.